Hello YouTube, I'm here to do a quick video tutorial, well, semi-quick, on how you can synchronize your Mozilla Sunbird calendar files between multiple computers. So, first thing we're going to do is open up um, Mozilla Sunbird, which I already have open right here. Basically, this idea came out of me having my laptop at school, but mainly using my desktop at home. So I'd be putting in my assignments in the application on my laptop, but what about homework? It can't remind me if I'm on my desktop, which brought about the need to synchronize this. In Sunbird, I was surprised that there isn't yet any built-in option to synchronize over a local area network or with other computers. You can synchronize with a server on remote calendars, but I didn't want to set up a bunch of files on my server. I needed a quick solution and something that would be relatively easy that anybody could do. So, the two tools that I primarily used were Sunbird, which is the main application, obviously, um, an add-on for Sunbird, and Dropbox. So, if you don't have a Dropbox, um, you can sign up at dropbox.com. If you go to www.dropbox.com. For those who... Um, for those who don't know, Dropbox is um, basically an online file storage-ish, but it synchronizes between multiple desktop clients as well as mobile platforms. So you can have your files synchronized and accessible um, on every device when it's within a folder called your Dropbox folder. Each computer that you're synchronizing has this application plugged in, and on other computers you can quickly access your files by downloading them via their website. So, uh, yeah. Well, let me get into the thing. So, we've got Sunbird here and the application called Dropbox. So, the next step is to open up my Dropbox folder. Open up right here. I have all of my Dropbox files. One of the items you're going to notice is the school calendar file. It's an iCalendar file and it's the same file I have located within here. I have the Dropbox desktop client installed on both my laptop and here on my desktop. The way I synchronize these two files is using an add-on for Sunbird that is called Automatic Export. Basically what this application does is you can configure it so that it will resave or export your calendar to a folder every time you close the application, which is Sunbird. And every time you open it, it will reload from that directory. <sighs> Keep messing up, sorry. Basically, I have my settings configured, so after you've installed automatic export, you go into your normal mode. There's other options like backups, etc. But on here, I set it up for going into my Dropbox folder. So, for instance, I'm on Windows 7. If you're on Vista, the process would be similar. And on XP, then it's an, also a, still a very similar process, except your Dropbox folder will be um, a subfolder of my documents. The first thing I want to do is find the Dropbox folder, which you would see here. Choose your folder, and you've got your directory for export. Every time this is exported, as long as your computer is connected to the internet, it is going to synchronize all the files with the Dropbox servers. And then from there, it will synchronize onto your other computer. It moves about very fast. So benefit with this is while I'm at school, it can already synchronize it with my computer at home. As soon as I get home, start up my computer and it'll remind me of anything I need to get done. You've got your options for the format of the exported calendar. Just choose iCalendar, which is the current default. You can choose all of the calendars you want to export or individual ones that you're going to want. Um, there's no need to start an application off after the export, but basically these are the settings you're going to want to have. You click OK, you're pretty much good there. So now your calendar is going to be synchronized every time you close Sunbird. So you need to keep note of that. Um, if you keep Sunbird open, it's not going to synchronize. Um, I haven't really found any way to fix this issue but it's not too big of a problem. I've been able to live with it. It's really not that bad. If you look at the location of this current calendar, it says that it's stored in your Dropbox folder, which, if we pull this back up, 
and we go into my self, pull this up, go to Dropbox, and here we are. We have my calendar right here. If we were to open up the Dropbox folder on our other computers that are linked to this Dropbox account, that school file will also be there. So your calendar files, folders, files will be the same across every computer. If there are conflicting files and doesn't know what to do, it'll just create a copy that you can later open. When you've got to your other computer and the one that you want to synchronize with, you've got your Dropbox to have that little calendar file within it. So how do I get this into here? And how do I make it so it will open this every time? I'm going to delete this current calendar. I exit out Mozilla Firebird. It's been exported and updated the file. When Sunbird opens, it's updated that. Right now, what I'm going to do is delete this calendar. Before I can do that, it needs to have a new calendar. Just in the meantime, um, just name it QWERTY. It's going to be deleted soon anyway after this demonstration. So we delete this calendar. Yes. No longer subscribe. No. It's no longer subscribed to that calendar file. Now, let's picture this, that now I'm on my other computer. This is a totally different computer, and I want to synchronize my new calendar. Your Dropbox folder will likely be in the same directory on each computer, which is definitely a benefit to you. What you do is you go to File, open a calendar file, and you want to navigate to where you keep it. So in my case, I kept it in my Dropbox. So where you could get there... One way is local disk C, users, select your user, and my Dropbox. These little green checks right next to these mean that the files are successfully updated and current with anything that's held on their servers and within your other computers. So I have my little calendar here. If I click open, my calendar is now open. If I look at properties, I have same properties as it was before. It should be the same on any other computer you open it on. Delete this extra here. So all of my previous tasks stored in here are now on here. Same with all upcoming events. All events listed in here. So basically this is a way you can do it and it's a quick solution. There aren't very many add-ons for Sunbird right now. There might be one I'm not aware of. If anybody is aware of one that can do this natively between things, similar to for Firefox, Xmarks, bookmarks, synchronization, plugins, etc. Something like that for this, that would be very helpful, and I can update that. But until then, this is pretty much the most simple way you can really do it. I tried several other things with Windows Live Mesh, which didn't work very well, but using just Dropbox account and a basic add-on, you can get your calendar synchronized, so you're always up to date on any computer you use. Hopefully you find this useful and glad I could help. Thanks. This is Andrew signing off.